Today, we will be discussing a hypothetical developmental network. The network leads to the formation of spikes in certain cells of the thorny, of the skin of the thorny. Letters represent genes in their DNA and the protein produced by them showing how they react with, down, with downstream genes. These proteins show if the following gene is... First, we'll be discussing the wild type. Wild type means that there are no mutations. S promotes P, P blocks I, which prevents K from being blocked. Therefore, K promotes E and spikes are produced. Next, we'll be discussing if P isn't there. Anything upstream of P doesn't matter. So, P isn't there, so it can't block I. So I is promoted and it blocks K. Since K is, is blocked, K can't promote E, so spikes are not formed. Now we, now we will be discussing if I isn't there. If I isn't there, K is not blocked. K stimulates E, therefore spikes are produced. This one's easy, because remember, anything upstream doesn't matter. So if A isn't there, spikes aren't. If E isn't there, spikes can't be produced. So K is not that. Next we'll be discussing if S and K are not there. If K is not there, E cannot be stimulated. Hi kitty. E can't be stimulated, so therefore there are no spikes. Notice how this dragon has spikes along its back, but not all over its body. Some of the skin genes act to promote spikes while others inhibit them. Even if they have the exact same genome sequence, what matters is if it was promoted or inhibited.